Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Cave Story Plus. So, in the last episode, we started off the game, we met a weird character... Well, I don't even actually remember his name. I've already forgotten because he was only shown during that one... Well, those two scenes where he was talking to the Sioux girl, who we've heard of as well. And we also met a few characters here that are apparently bunny people, known as Mamiga. This is a fairly peaceful place until the doctor came through and his henchmen are kidnapping people until Sue is found. That Sue, quote unquote, has been found, even though that wasn't actually Sue, that was Toriko or Tomo? I think it was to Toriko. And now we're here and we're gonna be helping people out because we're a good person. Uh, I think the game wants me to go right? I'm assuming that's why I was panning, right? Hey, King. Arthur's house key. There should be at least one more copy somewhere. Toriko, she feigns ignorance. I wonder, maybe Jack would know something? Well, okay. <laughs> Jack might know something, so I should go find Jack. Because you don't know Jack. I wish I could fall there correctly, but at least I just proved that I do not take fall damage, or at least not from that height. Mm huh? Torgo's been kidnapped! Bah! Now we've gone only one- Okay, that's apparently not Jack. Alright, well, I obviously don't know Jack, because I don't know who this Jack person is. It's either the guy at the farm or the guy at the fishing well, so I'm gonna go check both. It's weird though, because whenever you want to go through doors, you have to press down on the arrow pad instead of up. And I'm so used to other games where it requires you to press up. Sue? Yeah, Sue! The cute girl's always hiding inside Arthur's house. She really- oh, this is the exact same thing that he said last episode, so this obviously isn't the person I'm looking for. I- I know I feel bad, but that face was actually kind of funny and I actually enjoy doing it. Um, I don't like killing things. It's, it's not a great thing, especially things that are harmless. But that face is just made to make me smile. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not quite sure where I need to go for this. So I'm going to go to Yamashita Farm and check that out. Ah, man, it's good to play one of these games again. Uh, the closest I came to was, as I said last episode, was SteamWorld Dig. And that really got me pumped up to do this kind of thing. This is the farm where we grow f Uh, yeah, I, this is the exact same thing you said last episode. So, that's obviously not something I need to know about. Instead, I'm gonna be heading down here, because I guess it might be in the shack or something? I don't know. It has to be in a place that I haven't been to, and there's only like four places in this entire map. Anyone here? Anyone? No. Uh, where to even go then? Because I could have sworn I checked everywhere. I thought I did at least. It's still locked. I, I don't, uh, I'm not positive. I've spoken to you and you said that Sue was the only girl left and yeah, that's interesting. Maybe I have to talk to King again, maybe he had more to say? Nope. I don't know this Jack person, though. I don't know Jack. Okay. Then, where do I go? Where would Jack be? Who the heck is Jack? How do I find this person? Also, I just realized, I just remembered the fact that I can shoot down. And that is really cool. Okay. I'm going to wander around for a tiny bit, trying to figure out and trying to get my, uh, I guess, directions correct. I'll be right back. Oh, there's a thing right here. What did he say? Toriko's been kidnapped. That's terrible. We have to inform King. Well, I don't think you understand. You just left your post. Mamiga Sanitary currently closed due to hazards, but I can go in there, so I will immediately go in there instead of, you know, I didn't realize that was an enemy. Uh, instead of, uh, you know, actually being wary of what's... Come on, I already got it. Shoot it in the back. Oh my gosh, took 11 hits already. Okay, apparently they have 12 health. 
Okay, well, these guys are all ridiculous not giving any experience, which upsets me deeply. Thank you for finally coming out. Uh, but up here, Arthur's grave. Something's written on the headstone. Here rests the true Mimiga hero, Arthur. Found Arthur's key. Well, I found the key that I was uh, looking for. Just like that. All you have to do is search around, guys, and I wish I had some kind of double jump so I could get up there, because I know that's what that is. You just need the double jump, and I know there has to be a double jump in this game. I don't remember if I ever got a double jump, but I know there has to be one. Alright. Now I'm gonna talk to King. Not Toriko, too! Toriko's older brother, Arthur, was our strongest warrior, but he was killed by the doctor himself. I wasn't even able to protect Toriko. There are two keys to Arthur's house. Toriko has one of them, the other's inside of Mamiga. <coughs> oh my gosh, my throat. Mamiga Cemetery! Okay guys, I'll be right back. My throat's actually starting to kill me. I need some water. Alright, I'm back. Now that I've overfilled on water and my, I actually start feeling sick, I'm back and ready for talking, I guess. I don't know. Used Arthur's key. Uh, I thought Sue was supposed to be in here, but all right. Was Arthur some kind of genius or something, or is that Sue's work? Text is displayed on screen. Kazuma. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Oh, I'll teleportation to Egg Corridor? Uh, sure. Egg Corridor now accessible via teleport. Okay, well... Kazuma is the other guy's name that I was talking about before. Do you want to rest? Uh, sure? Life fulfilled. There's the life thing right over there, so I'm not sure what the difference is, but whatever. Uh, flowers? Oh no, they're the red flowers that were mentioned that kill people. I'm not sure what that's about, but that's not good. Alright, let's go to the egg corridor. This cannot be good. I'm sorry to have to kill you, but you're just there and probably going to hurt me. Okay, so you're not a bad guy. Watch out for that little white thing moving back and forth down below. Its touch is as deadly as it gets. Okay, I know I've been here before, so... That's something. Alright. It got a level up, even. I think I... Yep, I shoot... I shoot two shots now. Sweet. Uh, I think you can actually lose levels by taking damage enough. So I'm not sure how that works. Or maybe it's if you die. I'm not sure. Oh, come on. I thought I'd be able to... Whatever. I'm able to deal twice the damage now, which is great and all. I just need to watch out and be smarter about how I'm moving. Alright, now I'm able to kill these things without having to worry that much. I wonder if that was actually set up to be that way. Okay, now I can just obliterate things, apparently. Oh, no. There you are, you monster! You won't scare me! <laughs> what? You want some of this? Take your best shot! Even my big brother has never beaten me! Ouch! You got me! Sorry! I'm sorry! Pow! Pow. Oh, huh? Who are you? Yuck! <sighs> well, I'm just gonna let him walk away? He just got kidnapped. I didn't even care. I didn't even blink. Uh, so I need to get in that door up there if I want that. But for the moment, I'm going to save Cthulhu's abode. I have a few questions about this. Hey, this is highly unusual. You're a soldier from the surface, are you not? Where's your blonde pal? What? You've lost your memory? <laughs> oh, apparently I'm a soldier from the surface. 
that's interesting enough. Apparently I had a blonde friend at some point. But for now, uh, of course I missed the jump. All right, uh, just a second. Come up here. Now let's make this jump once again. There we go. Just need that running start. Life gap, so max life increased by four this time. Sweet. Oh, come on. Trying to sneak up on me. Oh, no. Those guys, I believe, are instant death. Kind of like spikes. Well, I got some useless hearts. Uh, not very useful hearts again. Ooh, that could have been bad if I'd fallen at the wrong time. Bunch of experience, that little one down there I'm not even gonna try for. Screw it. Get good! Max level 3, I just realized that, so it's completely pointless. Come on. At least this makes it so you can't just grind them for levels. Yep, you do lose experience. Being hit. Just proved it there. Oh! I thought that was a solid block. Yeah, I want to retry. Ow. Ow, a lot. Oh, but it didn't save me getting that. Great. Alright. Got it. Okay, 13 out of 50. Won't even bother saving since... I don't plan on dying again, and again, you never really plan on dying. Well, I'm sure there are some people that make that a false statement. But those people are not me. I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Come on. No! <laughs> Almost died. Gotta get to the max. There we go. Okay, only four more eggs to get by. Assuming that that count is what that is. It's weird how some things are in the foreground, some things are not. Oh, ranged attacks this time. Apparently. Alright, got another save station. Research observe wait, what was the name of it? I need to leave here and come back. Egg corridor, egg observation room. I'm not sure what that even Go go up, there we go. I'll check those out in a minute. Open the treasure chest. Got obtain the missile launcher. Oh, Oh, yes. The Missile Launcher is a powerful weapon, but has limited ammo. Collect additional ammunition from fallen enemies. Flying Egg Dragon... Wait, Flying Dragon Egg number 10. Egg Stasis Normal. 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 And another normal. I feel like one of these is going to say something different, and that's why I need to check them. There's a note here. I can't really get any closer to the observation room because of the shield. There should be a terminal that we can move the shield somewhere. Okay, I just need to drop down there and check out those terminals because I'm extremely curious. Normal. Egg stasis abnormal. Examine further. So I'm going to assume it's just... Examine further... Okay, so there are two that the egg stasis is actually messed up in some way. I'm afraid that that might be a boss or something, so I'm kind of worried about that. Something is going on with these eggs, and apparently there are dragons which the Mamiga did not actually realize. At least a lot of them didn't. 
Or maybe it was just that one. I don't know. Maybe he's just really out of the loop. Oh, so the darker ones can actually fly through there. Oh, hey, missiles. I... Hi. You get six experience from those big ones, though. Alright. Well, I'm not hurting too badly here. Oh, no. does not affect that. Okay, I need to wait for the thing to run left and then I can make my break for it. There we go. Oh, no. That's cheap as heck. You've died. Want to retry? Yes, I do. <sighs> Alright, well, I need to get this again. Okay, well, I'm not sure what terminal that is at, like, to disable it. Maybe it's under one of the eggs or something? I'll have to check here. Four, three... Okay, well, not hurting that badly. Not yet, at least. So there is a terminal somewhere that I missed out on. Because I simply can't do anything down there yet. Man, what a bit jerks. So I can't do anything with that force field, so I need to head back this way a little bit. Okay, if I jump up here... By the way, I, I just realized, uh, since I haven't really talked about the series yet, and how these will be going, I'm not sure how often I'll be posting these. What I am sure is that they will be completely dependent on however I'm feeling, so if I feel like doing a 10 minute episode, I will, if I'm in that much of a hurry. But if I'm in the mood for a 40 minute episode, I will do a 40 minute episode. It really depends on how much progress I want to make that day and stuff like that. I tend to go for longer episodes on my videos simply because that's what I enjoy doing, but it really is completely dependent on my mood. I still haven't noticed the terminal, but I forgot to look down on those last few, but whatever. Ow. Well, I can't go back here. Actually, I can if I just head up here. Never mind. 11. There we go. Come on. Rip. Really? Okay. I need to blast through this faster. Okay, there's that there. And apparently that thing isn't leaving, so I can't go get that. That wouldn't work. So maybe there's a speed boost or something somewhere later in the game that I can use to get all the way over there and get that little heart container. But I'm not going to be able to do that. The heart capsule is completely out of my reach at the moment unless I want to commit suicide. <laughs> Which, as you might guess, I don't want to commit suicide. Maybe if I head in here, this little Cthulhu guy will say hi to me. Okay. He is not helpful at all. Never mind. You're completely useless to me, and I just think I just reset everything by doing that. Yeah, I did.
There we go. Now that I kill all those guys. Um come on. Up up here. There we go. Let's see. I probably don't have to rush into that egg, right? Or maybe, actually, I just had a little stroke of genius. I think it's actually up here. I need to remember the eggs and what order they're in, like, what numbers they have. Because what I could do, actually... I want to actually show what I want to do, rather than just saying, oh, I'm going to do this and then going to do it. Okay, if I head into here, there were two things that said that the egg stasis was abnormal. So if I find those two, then I can actually uh, prove to myself which ones it is. Number six, six is abnormal, and one. I need to go to six and one, and I need to check them out. There's something going on with them, so that might be a hint. Wait, I just realized something. Red flower petals litter the floor. So Sue has been here, probably. Wait, 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 I just realized something. That giant monster could be Sue because it could, she could have been force-fed those red pet. I'm putting things together now. I'm doing science. I think that it doesn't kill them. What it actually does is it puts them in this, like a monster-like state. Okay. So if I head over here... Wow. I have done a lot of damage or killed a lot of things. I'm not really sure which. I think it's probably damage. Go right. I went inside the egg? What? I mean, ID card? What? So once he goes left, I'm going right. Alright, I think I'm gonna go to six. That was probably someone's doing. That's why they were considered abnormal, even though other ones are open in the same way. Come on, drop a heart. Dang it. Did not drop a heart. But you guys did, and that's all I needed. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, rush by, little white runner thing. Okay, and here's the key card. I got the ID card. All right, I'm kind of going over on time, but I kind of want to, uh, honestly, this is probably the best place to stop, now that I think about it, because, like I said, I do things as I want, and as the story allows. So I might have long episodes thanks to the story as well. It's not always my fault, sometimes this is the game fault, and I'm not just gonna cut something off completely midway. That would be completely jerkish, wouldn't it? Unless it's fun, and then I'll probably do it anyway. So guys, next time on Let's Play Cave Story Plus, we'll be using the ID card to get past that force field, which is for some reason in an egg. I don't understand why. Don't know why the terminal's there. But once we get past that force field, you can bet we're chasing after that little kid who is kidnapped by the uh, giant bunny man, who I'm assuming is probably Sue. See you guys next time.